Oh, the ants are getting my pupa chamber, so I had to release the pupa to the wild. And uh, you can see, let's see if I can get it on camera. There's only like three or four that you can still see, but uh, there was a pro, I don't know, 50, 100, there was quite a bit a second ago when I dumped them all. And um, so this is, they're gonna sit there in a burrow, and uh, then in two to three weeks, they'll come out as adult flies. Uh, whatever like armadillos, possums, things like that don't uh, get to. So, so anyways, this is black soldier fly uh, pupa, looking for a place to burrow. Okay, first time uh, that I've gotten to witness it, we're, uh, they climb up in the pipe and uh, slowly but surely make their way into the pupa collection uh, bin, which is right there. Oh my goodness, already have some more crawling around. So, uh, oh. My arch nemesis ants, but uh, anyways, yeah, cool. So I, I I know they obviously they're somehow getting in the pipe to to crawl up into the. Uh, they come out the other end into the manifold, and then they drop, and then they're there. So let's dump in some more old uh, dog food. That my dog didn't eat that's a couple days old and pretty rancid so okay you'll have to excuse the music it is one of my <laughs> one of my neighbors um they're pretty rowdy anyways so country living i guess uh so we've got more to filter and i'm tempted to deal with it tonight but also hate stumbling around in the dark uh, tripping over rocks and stuff. So I might just unfortunately have to make them wait till tomorrow. Now here's what I saw when I opened this, which is why I started recording. And most times I really have to always keep my camera on me because moments like this, let's see if these little guys go hiding. The bin is filled to the brim. All the food I put in earlier is already gone. I am most certain, wow, they're even eating the paper towel. Gee, Louis has some dog food on it. Some of that expired uh, dog food. Um, I am pretty sure this is coming from eggs. I am most certain. There's just no way. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's, there's one crawling up the pipe right now. Oh, that is cool. That is freaking cool. No, no, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Follow the other one. But anyways, oh. Uh, Y'all, y'all are going the wrong way. So I'm gonna see. I need to glue these pipes to the wall, so when they climb up the wall, then they can get to the pipe. Oh, same same story here. But I mean, this is crazy. They're already hiding because I'm sitting here with the light. When I opened to this originally, there were so many more. Um, I it blew my mind how many more larvae there are. So I think we're at a pretty good, I mean, it, now maybe it could just be somewhere unhatched before, but I think that we might be at a successful life cycle now where the females are coming, laying the eggs, boy, the, from the storm and just the humidity and stuff, really some of the cardboard's getting a little, uh, funky, but, um, I think that we might be at a highly successful cycle with how many were in here. This whole thing, when I first shone the light, now they're all burrowing back under with the food and stuff. And if I wait long enough, they'll come back out. But, um, uh oh, oh, I don't want you guys getting crushed. Think. Let's knock you back down. Okay. Um, anyways, so, wow, look at that. Oh, well, I don't think I'd be going there yet. I think you, you look a little small. You should probably eat some more. But, anyways, this thing was filled to the brim. 
So anyways, I am stoked. I'm going to have to. I thought I was running low, maybe out, but not in the slightest. So I think that we are at the point of having successful uh, egg hatching. And that's great. That is really great news. So um, anyways, yeah, this is this is fantastic. If you look, you can see the soil kind of moving. So this is a success. This bin, uh, I've, I've got to really just sit down and hammer out the article. I just finished uh, my DNS tool uh, very, very early this morning. So I've been, you know, there's only so much time in the day that I can do so many things. Either out here working with this stuff or writing software or, you know, any number of things. But um, anyway, so yeah, this is great. So I've got to sit down, write the article on how to put this bin together because we have a home run. And that's the water drain. So we're not there yet, but at some point I'll turn this on just to drain if there's any water, but we're good. And the ants, they have killed every single one of the, uh, how frustrating, they've killed every single one of the pupa that's in there. So I have stopped putting pupa in here, which is a bummer. I was really hoping to keep the cycle going this way. Um, so since they've killed every single one, I, what I might do just to kind of uh, keep this going and until it gets too cold where I need to then spend more time focusing on how to do this inside, uh, indoors, uh, in my garage with mosquito netting, but I might just try to use like a mop bucket with some soil, something like that. Um, I'm not ready to start cutting holes into this yet, uh, as tempting as it may be. Um, but that's kind of the longer term, like it's my, it's what I might do, uh, once I get this situated in the mosquito netting, uh, so that then it's just a full cycle. So I would have that under here, um, like cut a hole right here and have the pipe, uh, dropped in to here and then maybe just kind of pry this open, um, maybe cut a actual hole in it. But uh, that's that's coming up. Another way that I could maybe do it without uh, destroying this lid um, is maybe just use some kind of like a lawn uh, netting. I'm, I'm blank on the term. It's like a black type of netting, uh, black screen. But I might just uh, I might just do that and um, uh, and then cut a hole in that. That way, uh, once uh, the pupa. Uh, get to the point, whatever the next stage is in uh, metamorphosis, then they can sit there and uh, fly out. Because the trick is to get them, like they drop in on this side, they're going to burrow two to three weeks later, they're going to sit there and want to, uh, they're going to hatch, like come out, it takes them about five minutes, um, and then out pops a, a black soldier fly. And then, you know, it'd be same process over again. They would do what's called lecking on leaves, um, where I guess it's kind of like how peacocks are, uh, you know, where they'll like strut around with the feathers and then, uh, the females and the males, they mate, but they have to fly for mating. And then the females would come back to here, enter through here, lay eggs. And that's that. So let's see, maybe, maybe it's been long enough of my rambling. Let's see if I can psych these guys out. Yep. There's some. All right. Still a ton are, are hiding, but um, boy, that is so exciting. That is really exciting. And there are some young ones in here too. So, um, you know, I don't know if this is the original um, flock colony, whatever you want to call it, or if some of these are new. Some of them look kind of young. So we might be uh, at a successful loop. I'm, I'm pretty sure we are. I am most certain we are. Okay, so some of them are trying to get out the sides, so I gotta close it before they crawl out. But uh, that's also where I, my only improvement I think that I need to make is I need to just kind of press these pipes. There's a lot of tension. I need to press the pipes to the side and, and try to glue them. So that way when they're crawling like this, then uh, there's something for them to grab onto if they're trying to, uh, if they're already at the uh, pupation stage. 
So 